call on Neil Booby to be followed by John Mason. Up to four minutes, please. Thank you, President Officer. I welcome the opportunity to speak in this Labour debate on the Glasgow Airport rail link as it will interest many constituents in Renfrewshire and West Scotland. We should have had a full ministerial statement several weeks ago on this issue, and it's telling Labour has had to bring it to the Chamber today. The Minister spoke for several minutes on the Government's actions on the Glasgow Airport rail link. We heard many words, but the one word we didn't hear was sorry. We should have had a full apology from the Minister today for three reasons. For cancelling an important infrastructure project to the region and the country. For costing an estimated 1,300 jobs in the Renfrewshire and Glasgow area. And an apology for the scandalous waste of our constituents' taxes in the process. We need transparency. We need accountability for this mess. It is completely unacceptable for ministers to hide behind officials, which is why Labour is calling for an independent audit into the land transactions, which James Kelly mentioned earlier. The cancellation of the rail link has cost at least £30 million. But this isn't the government's money that you have wasted. It is the £30 million is wasted on behalf of our constituents. It is a staggering figure, and if the Minister does not think so, it just shows how out of touch he is and how badly we need an independent audit. I firmly believe that a rail link to Glasgow Airport would have been beneficial to the whole of the country, Scotland's biggest city being linked to its airports. The SNP's record on this means that you can get a direct train from Glasgow Central to Manchester Airport, but you can't get one to Glasgow Airport. It has been mentioned already, but I noticed the Minister's amendment this afternoon described the Glasgow Airport rail link as ill-conceived. He must disagree with John Swinney then when he previously described it as desirable, and disagree with Derek Mackay, who, when he was leader of Renfrewshire Council, acknowledged the economic and transport benefits of the rail link. The amendment also points to £600 million of improvements to rail infrastructure, trains and services in Glasgow, Paisley and Ayrshire. The reality is that weekday off-peak trains from Paisley Gilmore Street to Ayr have been halved, despite the Minister's continued denials. What sort of improvement is that? Mm -hmm. And the investment on the Paisley corridor and the rolling stock that has been put on the, the, the routes were put in precisely to facilitate the Glasgow Airport rail link. These misrepresentations and failure to be open are not just reasons for an audit, but demonstrate a behaviour pattern. Let us not forget, as James Kelly also mentioned, the delayed publication of the ACOM study, which the Scottish Government was part of and the, the uh, Transport Minister has confirmed, which recommended a rail link at the same time as the Government was selling off this land. Four years on from the cancellation of Garo, rather than seeing the benefits of a rail link, all that we are left with is an expensive mess and more questions than answers. This is not the SNP governing in Scotland's interests. And in relation to George Adams' contribution, what is even less forgivable is the actions of SNP MSPs who purport to stand up for Paisley and Renfrewshire. SNP MSPs who supported the Glasgow Airport rail link until Alex Salmond and John Swinney told them not to. We all know that unemployment is too high. We need jobs for young people. We need jobs for people who have been made redundant in Paisley. We saw the announcement of 141 job losses last week. The SNP response to this, sell off the land for the rail link at a cheap, a cheap rate and a fire sale, and while we're at it, we'll slash college places for training and retraining opportunities. Mm. Presiding officer, so you must close. it's about time the SNP government apologised for the mishandling of the Glasgow Airport rail link and the loss of jobs to Renfrewshire, and that we have an independent audit, and it's time SNP MSPs who represent Renfrewshire started standing up for Renfrewshire. Right. Thank you.